Hello everyone. So today we will learn how to design this awesome parallax effect design presentation slide. But before that, let's watch this. Cyberbullying is a form of bullying or harassment by using electronic means. It should be checked and stopped immediately. Everyone should come forward and make efforts in this direction. Here are some eye-opening facts. 34% of the students had experienced cyberbullying in their lifetime. 17% said that it had happened in the last 30 days. Only 40-50% to of cyberbullying targets are aware of the identity of the perpetrator. FamiSafe is a reliable parental control app which protects kids in cyberbullying prevention, location tracking, app blocking, web filtering, screen time control, and so on. Parents can get automatic alerts on potential risk of cyberbullying, inappropriate adult content, harassment, and more in your kids' text conversations. Here are some tips to stop cyberbullying. Not everyone online is who they say they are. Talk regularly with your kids about online issues. Say no to cyberbullying with family safe together. Love your kids, so keep them safe. To know more about FamiSafe, please click the description links below. So let's begin the tutorial. The very first step is to insert a rectangular shape. Because in this parallax tutorial, what we will do is we will fill the shapes with pictures. In our last video, what we did, we directly inserted the pictures and then we subtracted it with shapes so that it would be difficult for you to, you know, use the template and change the uh, pictures because the pictures are in the form of subtracted shapes. So that's why then it would be difficult for you. But in this tutorial, what we will do is, what we are doing is we, we have used shapes and then we have inserted the pictures then it will be easy for you you know you have to just right click on the shape and fill the picture of your choice just to let you know guys that you can download this template from the g drive link provided in the video description and from there you can download it for free so coming back to the tutorial you need to make six copies of this shape six copies you just have to press ctrl c and ctrl v and that way you will have six copies make sure those are well aligned now duplicate the slide or insert a new slide make sure it's plain and now we will create a shape here or we can say we will create a collection of shapes that we will use to subtract it from, uh, from the shapes that we have created in slide one so first you have to insert this shape make sure you have removed its outline now you can duplicate it also you have to make sure that height and width are same Now we need five of these images, but all these images will be of different size from small to big. So you can use this height and width option and make sure the number difference is uh, proportionate so you can so that it looks good on the screen. It shouldn't be like uh, the first shape is very small then the second is very big and third is not that big so make sure these are equally distributed in terms of their sizes so that's what I'm trying to achieve here and I'm drawing it in the real time so I'm trying to you know make calculations in my mind and experimenting some things so so i always include these small errors uh, in my video i generally don't hide these errors what i do so now what i'm trying to do is i'm increasing the shape 
for the fourth shape. And also apply different colors so that you can easily select them. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to select the image because all of these will be of the same color. Now, all these five shapes are well aligned. Align to center, align to middle. Now select all and paste it on the first slide. Now once paste it, what we will do is, so this is really important. You should, you know, understand this step very clearly. Select the top image and top shape. Use both shapes option and subtract. Then second and the top shape. Again subtract. So you need to repeat the steps until all the shapes are subtracted from the images. Now apply inward shadow like this so that you will get this nice shadow effect. Slightly increase the transparency, some blurness. Also, you can play with the angle and distance. Change the shadow color as well. I have kept it dark, dark gray, rather than black. Now it's the time to add some animation. We will use grow and shrink. Grow and shrink and animation will look good here. For that, you need to open the animation pane. Now select all these animation, start with previous, increase the duration to approximate between 2.75 to 4 seconds based on your choice. Increase the delay by 0.25, then open the properties. Increase the slider for smooth start and smooth ending, size to 120%. Repeat this until the end of the slide and make sure the reverse is clicked and now select every animation and increase the delay as you can see on your screen as all these animations have repeat loop applied on them so these will grow and shrink grow and shrink but at different time and you will get this ripple water effect kind of thing. So look at this. This is looking so nice. Now comes the next part. Our base is ready. Now we need to apply some text and some style, some color. Insert this rectangular layer. Apply a nice gradient color. So you don't you don't have to go with the gradient that I'm applying. You have to creative here, go to online sources, check for some nice corporate gradient colors. Also, it depends upon the brand scheme and logo design that you are using because every brand has its own color scheme. So you sometimes have to follow that as well. But if you are flexible and you have all the liberties, you can test different gradient scheme. So I have used here three stops gradient. Currently it's linear, but it will not look good here. So change this to radial gradient. So you can select the drop down here and change it, change it to radial. You have to play with the sliders and the transparency level. I will not tell you how to do that. You, you guys know it, it's pretty easy. You just have to adjust the transparency on each of these gradient stops and you have to judge yourself like when it's looking good and complete so that's how you can do it let's insert one more shape like this make sure the length and height is is you know equal and remove its outline remove its fill place it at the center we will use only the line 
increase the width so so that it looks quite thick in width change the joint type to round and duplicate it slightly increase it and place it at the center now reduce its increase the transparency and, re and reduce its width so you will get something like this now let's write our text here so this is my style of adding the text but you can present any information you want you have to be creative there with the text because text styling is also a different subject and make sure the text is well presented highly visible the font is nice do not always use arials and calibres every time there are millions of fonts out there try and test learn about fonts make sure the font is crisp and widely used now we have to showcase some text here some title with some description to justify these numbers but for that to uh, to display properly we need to add some light background behind this text otherwise the text will not be visible enough on this slide and it will look quite out of place if you look at this design currently there is no place to add some text or showcase some text so what we will do is we will insert this shape remove its outline bring this text to front so that it it is above this layer apply gradient linear gradient and we will use two stops gradient here both these tops have white color make sure the gradient is from top to bottom and apply 100% transparency to the top gradient stop and for the bottom keep it around 50% and you will get a nice blurry kind of layer at the bottom and now you can place text over it and it will look really nice so you have to play with this text and background thing until you get the desired result now let's apply some light animation on these text items so it's pretty easy you can apply any animation you want but some are some of the corporate animation styles are like fade float in and if you need some more movement then you can apply fly in animation now let's insert this triangle at the bottom so this is all about adding things for the aesthetic purpose so that the purpose of the design is to support text and information and make sure that that the attention of the user is directed towards the information that you want to showcase so here what we're trying to say is that the business growth is 80 percent so this triangle th thing will you know help users to understand this this context so that's the purpose here and to support this triangle let's create another triangle and remove its color and we will only keep its outline and the outline thickness should be around one to two based on your choice and bring the text 80 percent to the front and place it like this And now it's coming out really nicely.
so our design is complete and this slide is looking really awesome at the moment and you can try different concepts here different shapes so if you have liked this design please follow us subscribe us join the membership which is very important for us and you can share this video within your circle team friends and keep watching our videos keep liking and thanks for you know being with us thank you very much enjoy this video